to reach the highest level of amateur competition. Division I athletes typically begin honing their skill in their particular sport at a very young age. For Wyoming's Derek Cook Jr., the game of basketball and the notion of college athletics found him much later in life. I just played football pretty much as long as I can remember. And then I remember like my senior year, I wasn't a star player or a go-to guy. So of course, no college was looking at me. What I ended up doing was taking a year off because I couldn't afford college at the time. And then um, my mom said it's probably best I get a job. So I applied for like Target and Hollister and they both happened to like uh, ask me for interviews within the same week. So I was just like, I tried this out and I was working at both jobs for maybe 10 months. And within this 10 months is when like all the growth and stuff started to happen. It was like I was outgrowing clothes. The late growth spurt had Derek's older brother, Ricky, encouraging him to play in pickup games at the local rec center. We were at Wheaton Rec. Uh, it's in like uh, Wheaton, Maryland. And we were playing in this guy named Sean Thompson's in there. And it's like a friend of my older brother's. He's like, um, have you ever thought about playing college basketball? And I was like, no, I never even thought about playing basketball. And he's like, uh, well, if I, I'm gonna try to work out with you. And if anything happens from it, uh, we can do it. And he did it free of charge, never asked me for anything. Just did it just because he felt like helping, helping somebody like me out. Derek happened to catch the eye of a junior college coach who was scouting a different player at the time. His name was uh, Chad Espar, could we called him Coach E. So he comes down for a workout. We have maybe seven or eight guys working out. Coach E looks at me, he's like, well, I don't see you as much as a basketball player, but I can uh, give you a scholarship at our junior college in Red Church and whatever happens, happens. He gets you out of here, free education. Why not take it? My, I had to redshirt that first year. So like I was doing all the hard work, like with the guys and everything, but I couldn't play in the games. And like, unless you've redshirt, you don't know how hard that is. I know those guys that play for the University of Wyoming now that know, like you work out twice as hard as everybody just because you gotta do the practices and then you gotta do your separate workouts and then you don't get to play. So it's just like, what is this all supposed to mean? So I remember after the first year, just being like in debate if I wanted to continue. Derek decided to stick it out at Cloud County and the payoff finally came. Sophomore year went great and then that's when the colleges started calling and I was just as shocked as any of you. I was just happy people were calling, knowing who my name was. That's when Wyoming came about the picture and I remember Coach Edwards coming down. I was asking my coach, I was like, who's this guy right here? He's like, He's a coach from University of Wyoming. And I was like, oh wow. And I didn't know like what conference they were in or anything like that. Coach Shot, he said, quote unquote, if you wanna go to college and have fun, we're probably not the best place for you. But if you wanna go to college and become a better basketball player, you can't get a better place. Well, first of all, Alan Edwards did a great job doing some background work. There's a lot of people in the country that thought DC only had two years left. He had redshirted one year. He in fact had three years and we thought like a piece of clay, a guy who hasn't played a lot in his background, we could mold him and shape him because he had some really good attributes. Being new to basketball, I know I'm not gonna be the best playmaker. I'm not gonna be able to see the floor the most. The guys just been around and know how to do different techniques. So my thing is just being an energy guy. Like if there's one thing I can do, I'll jump out of bounds to save a basketball before I take shoot a three just because it's just, it's, it's what I like enjoy and do and just because everybody gets pretty excited about it. A highlight moment for Derek at Wyoming occurred as the Cowboys upset number five San Diego State on a play that earned him the number one spot on ESPN's nightly top 10. Senior like throwdown. I might say he throws that pass once or twice maybe every practice out of a, out of a two and a half hour practice. He's like, he rarely ever throws it. In games he never throws it. So when he finally threw it, I think when I jumped to go get it, I didn't even think it was going to be such a good pass. And it just happened to like fall right in my hands and I just had to finish. And it was just a, it was a great feeling. <laughs> and as for what the future holds for Derek Cook Jr. My mom's always raised me. I always have a plan B, plan C, just because nothing in life is guaranteed. So I know I would love for basketball to work out. If it does, I'll thank everybody. Thank God. I'll just be very appreciative of just the, the moment itself where basketball works out for me, whether it be overseas or luckily, like if it happens in the NBA, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But like my goal always in life has been to help kids. Like since I was maybe, I think six, I've been babysitting. <laughs>
<laughs> I've always had little brothers, I've always had little cousins, nephews and nieces, and I've just always been like the guy who just likes being around kids, helping kids out. So I double major right now in psychology and social science, and I would just love to take that degree and just like maybe go to a youth center or go to somewhere where like kids are like almost not forgotten, but their parents just think that by them going to school, they'll be satisfied. But there's a lot of kids that go through a lot of things and I just want to help those kids just see like a better way, like understand that life has a lot to offer if you just put yourself out there.